Have you seen my coffee cup? Oh my god! Hey, hey, control your weapon, buddy. I'll stay here and guard this area. Oh man, that sounded bad. Now don't make me go and throw down or something. Yep, yeah, uh huh. Do you speak English much? Ow, man. Don't kill me. Oh, ow. I'm too young to die. Ow. Man, did you see that shot? It's only a flesh wound. Medic! Ow. You aren't scared, are you? Uh. Medic! Didn't you already ask me that? Medic! Ah, uh, that's going to leave a scar. I, I thought we were becoming friends. Hey, catch me later. I'll buy you a beer. Half-Life Blue Shift. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Kelsky Gets His Life Halved. This is like the third time I'm getting my life halved, man. I'm in goddamn eighths at this point. I hate math. Today, I continue my journey in experiencing Half-Life for the first time. Now delving into Blue Shift, the third expansion pack to the original game. Your hand definitely does not match that print. You're like... <laughs> You have like a little Lego hand. You know, the one where you play as some random science nerd. I don't know, who cares? Because today, I get to don the badge and live out every kid's dream job, being a security guard. I wonder if those boys could have made a bigger mess. Look, I didn't pass my cop exams. All right, here, let's, let's practice being a real cop, all right? Stand down! Don't move! I said don't move! He's going for his gun! Ah, I nailed it. I mean, I thought I did great here. Maybe I did too good. Look at that flick. <laughs> I shot the one out of pure instinct. Blue Shift is considered to be the black sheep of the Half-Life franchise. Or I guess blue sheep, whatever. Touted to be the worst of the existing three expansion packs. Ah! which is complete and utter truth. I just made him trip. Crazy powerful rocket. But that don't mean it's necessarily bad. It's like the cherry on top of a triple stacked cake. It's a small bite. Oh, that's the end. That was like, the final moment. What the fuck? Gearbox is Gordon Freeman. But it's still sweet enough to be enjoyed, you know? I get on top and go in that way? Oh, what the f- <laughs> Being the third expansion, it's really just a nice send-off to the first game, wrapping everything together in a neat little bow. Being yet another perspective change, you get to play as the one and only Barry. Uh, yeah. Motherfucking Barry. This is my mall. Look, I know his name is Barney, but I mistakenly called him Barry during my first playthrough and no one cared to correct me. So until I get to Half-Life 2 and it becomes canon, this is fucking Barry. Along with Barry, and Barry, and Barry, but the H is silent, and of course, the fan favorite, Barry with the alpha sign. Anyways, it's not a very long expansion, only clocking in at around two to three hours, and it probably would have been shorter, but I play my Half-Life games on hard mode like a man. And life can get a little rough out here when you got two HP, okay? Oh my god. You... Oh. You... <laughs> you just pushed me. Ah, I'm gonna lose my mind! So what's here isn't a whole lot, but what is here still got some substance. So let's talk about it. Plus at this point, I'll take all the half-life I can get. Okay, I'm severely addicted and don't know how I'm going to handle catching up with the series and knowing more may never come, but that's a problem for future Kelsky. Man, this guy's an asshole. Blue Shift is the expansion pack where it was created using the HD texture pack. Let's see what the scientists look like, real quick, on HD models. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so bad. Who designed this? Oh, it's horrible. He's wearing khakis. As you may have noticed, I have not been using it for this video. Hmm, yes. Hmm, yes. Mm hmm Looks good. I can't read. Because looking at it makes my eyeballs instantly combust. Some of the HD textures aren't even actual higher res textures. Oh, I, do. I thought that said Sector G-Man for a second. I was tripping. As they are more just complete model swaps, which can be both good and also not good. I like the way he looks here. God, he looks so full of life and youth. 
Should I use HD models or not? Nah? Yeah, dog. Okay. Okay, everyone's saying no. Okay. I think it's pretty sweet that you can use a damn M4 or a Spaz 12 because that alone makes it feel like you're playing with new weapons, even if they are just reskins. Although I still think they seem a bit out of place in the Half-Life universe. Like running around with a full assault rifle in this game somehow feels like I'm committing a crime. It's just not Half-Life for me. And then you have the character models. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do to my man's forehead? <laughs> what did they do to you, my boy? <laughs> they just like stretched his face, man. I just can't do it, man. It gives Halo CE anniversary vibes with its HD models, and that is not a good thing. <laughs> They also fixed my boy's T-Rex arms. Not cool, man. Barry is just fine the way he is. It's weird seeing Barry without his helmet on. He kind of looks like G-Man a little bit, doesn't he, with that cut? The funniest part about the graphics, though, is this particular character, Dr. Rosenberg. Yes, I'm Dr. Rosenberg. Who is just permanently HD, no matter what settings you're using. So if you're not using the pack, it's just so much more noticeable. <laughs> they look so different. <laughs> it looks so off. It's like when that one Minecraft Pokemon mod went from this to this. This feels illegal. This is nails on a chalkboard, but for your eyes. Ever since the recent Half-Life updates, they even turn on HD models by default. This is pure evil. Gabe Newell. I got one word for you, and it's... So, old graphics it is, which unfortunately gives it a very samey look, which is unfortunately also true with the... There isn't anything insanely unique with this expansion pack, gameplay-wise. Half-Life has always had such snappy and responsive gameplay, so just getting new levels to experience the game's combat is welcomed. Do you see these dodges, though? You see the fucking dodges? <laughs> I'm stuck. But again, there's nothing new. Unlike its cool older brother opposing force. Yeah! It was mom's favorite and got all the cool new toys. While Blue Shift has to use the same shit Grandpa Gordon used back in 1864. I mean, seriously. Adrian Shepard got both a wrench no. and a knife to play with. Oh, sir, allow me to line you up, sir. Friendly Check, you watch it. I'm not sure why they didn't give Barry his own themed weapon. Let me beat the shit out of these trespassers with a baton like a real officer. Or a taser, something, man. Blue Shift lacks a lot of the new weapons and enemies that were introduced in Opposing Force, which sucks because I liked some of the new weapons. Oh. But the enemies, I say, Good riddance. Especially these mutated Mike Wazowski looking abominations and their nipple zapping ray guns. I personally thought Race X just weren't as interesting to fight against as the main original enemies, which is probably why you never see them again in the entire series. Due to this, you pretty much are using the same weapons to game over the same enemies that you did in the original Half-Life game. And even less so, because the full sandbox isn't even here. And even less so, because the game is so goddamn short. Hold it! Despite my criticisms, I actually have some defense statements in favor of Blue Shift. I really like the way the health system works in this game. Gordon Freeman's HEV suit could be charged to regain armor, which, like, how the fuck does that even work? Oh no, I've just been shot by a ballistic weapon at point blank. Let me just recharge my AA batteries real quick, and I'm fine. Yeah, okay, whatever you say, Gaben. Uh... In blue shift, your body armor doesn't recharge. So the only way to get shields is by picking them up from your fallen Barry brothers. No. Is that a revolver? Oh my god, he has the big iron on his hip. Oh, fuck yes. It just really sells the idea more that you're playing a different character from Gordon Freeman. And you feel a bit more vulnerable. I'm trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Stop resisting. Speaking of being vulnerable, this game is again no exception to the bullshit enemy spawns. Headcrabs coming out of nowhere. Never change, Half-Life. Never change. And honestly, at this point, <laughs> I love it. You got me! <laughs> this is a Half-Life game, after all. That's Miyazaki 100% worked on, let's be real. Favorite and least favorite enemies? You know, Headcrabs? Headcrabs might be, uh, might be first, actually. 
just come out of nowhere. Nobody asked. What the fuck? I also think the game's short length, honestly, works in its Bye. favor. Because you are just playing Half-Life 1 with less weapons, it would have been so much worse if they tried to stretch this another couple hours without adding in anything new. All this expansion is, is just a little bit more Half-Life to enjoy, while Gaben is in the kitchen cooking that deluxe fucking entree. It's like a side salad they give you at restaurants to hold you over for the main course. This game is also a lot slower paced. Which I don't really mind, since Opposing Force scratches that high octane itch. Blue Shift has a heavier focus on puzzles, which I liked even if I had a case of actual monkey brain and didn't think I would need this stupid box for this parkour puzzle because I thought I could do it without it and just dear God skip this part if you decide to watch the live stream. Can I jump on this? <gasps> well, it's crazy guys, the game just glitched there. That was, I don't know why. Which is right here, by the way, if you want the uncut version, wink, wink. I really enjoy puzzles in Half-Life games because they don't hold your hand. Why? Using logic to solve stuff on your own is just way more satisfying. <laughs> I want to watch it. I want to watch it at least. Hold on. Yeah, baby. Explosions. Yeah, that was sick. Like this one where you have to complete this electrical circuit leading to a door. And you have to actually bring over this conductive barrel. With your insane strength since physics are fucked in this game. If you're lost... Your character won't go, maybe I need to move this barrel over to the wires so I can advance the game. No. Even Gearbox will just let you wander around like a fucking idiot until you figure it out. I love it. Just makes the game more immersive without the hints or HUD elements. Oh, oh, I see it. Whoosh. Little Matrix dodge there, that's pretty cool. Just because this is an expansion pack made by a different developer doesn't mean it cuts corners on the... Of course, being a Half-Life game, the world building is phenomenal. Why don't you just blow up? Let's try this. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> what? How is your head still on, dude? Starting with its tutorial level. Oh, let's see it. Oh my god. Bro, his kneecap like hit his chin. He's so flexible. Very did gymnastics in high school, okay? Now, even though this is the exact same tutorial level from the original game, simply having Barry be the one to explain the instructions to you oh god, immediately go, gives the whole thing a unique personality. God, Barry, you're so caked up in such a, such a giga chad, dude. The beginning section is also fun to walk around in and explore, as usual. Are you crazy? Oh. <laughs> Yes, I am crazy, actually. Barry even gets his own locker as well. Oh my god, I am married. Yo, Barry pulls! The truth about aliens, government conspiracies. See, Barry's already smart, man. He doesn't trust the government. He has a woman. Dude's set up for, for good life. Even in the two to three hour runtime, there are surprisingly so many callbacks and connections made to the first game, just further establishing the world of Half-Life. This security guard right here that you see in the first game is actually who you play as. Oh, there he is! Oh, he's catching the next one! Oh, so that's why he's late for work. Which means... You can establish your own Half-Life canon on what exactly happened here. Oh my god, he's coming, guys! Oh my god, I'm freaking out. What do I say? What do I say? What do I say? Everyone, don't freak out. Don't freak out. Please marry me! Oh my god, I love you so much! No, please! Oh my god, just, just sign my baby! I think I nailed that, guys. What do you guys think? I don't know why seeing Gordon Freeman from another point of view is so exciting, man. It's like you just saw a fucking oh. unicorn for the first time. It's magical. A lot of the characters return. The usuals, as you would expect. Enemy spotted. Stop him, he's right there, dude. He's right there. Oh, that is not good. Except, man, they really cranked up the asshole levels this time around. There's like some serious beef or something between the guards and scientists. Don't you dare. Tap your foot at me. All right, shit's like some gang warfare. Dude, look at that. Look at the nerds sticking together and the berries. Oh, we got Otis. Otis, I miss you. Shouldn't you be guarding some donuts and coffee right about now? Wow, that's so racist. 
Let's get out of here, Barry. Shouldn't you have been in a test chamber half an hour ago, huh? How about that? I still think it's hilarious that every single security guard looks the exact same. Give me that shotgun right there. I want that shotgun. You know what? Oh! Okay, apparently his book is linked to his fucking mind, dude. <laughs> but hey, what can you do? It's 2001. Also, for some reason, there's this one random scientist who fucking hit puberty at, like, the age of four. So his voice is deeper than the other ones. The military is rounding up everyone and everything they can find. That's not... killing them or bringing them up here for questioning. Why do you sound like this? A colleague and I came up with our own plan for escape, and we were on our way to one of the old prototype labs you? when we ran into them. But listen to me. <laughs> That's not Dr. Kleiner. He's a narc. He's a narc. Look, see? He ratted me out. Some people say the story isn't good in Blue Shift. What's a motherfucker around here gotta do to get some Fritos? But, mm, I digress. Look at me and tell me this isn't the most dramatic character death you've ever seen. What a soldier, man. <laughs> Ties of cringe. Still better than Soap's death in Modern Warfare 2023. Damn, that's crazy. There isn't, like, crazy character development or anything. What are you doing? Are you, like, trying to... Oh, he can't reach his pistol. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's such a nice little detail. And the story is just a simple get out of the facility as fast as possible. Being the third expansion pack and all, they don't really bother with trying to build up a mystery with a twist, since you've already experienced it multiple times. We should have chosen the Lambda Reactor for an escape, but the crew there is bent on fighting the creatures, with all their hopes set on someone named Freeman. Huh? Does he not know Freeman? Are you, are you a scientist? However, just witnessing the beginning of the Resonance Cascade from a different location is still very cool. Oh, oh my good lord! <laughs> Who gave this man a license? And again, it just makes Black Mesa feel like a real place that went through a real event. Oh shit's fucked, man. It's just dope. Half-Life has always had really fun in-game set pieces. Oh no! Let him go! Okay, you you did that to yourself. I couldn't save you from your own stupidity. What the fuck was that? Even if they're kind of goofy. Overall, I think Blue Shift lives up to the Half-Life name. Even if it's a small slice of the same cake you've already eaten. It's, well, more Half-Life. And I'll take all I can get. I hope you all enjoyed. This is the end of the Half-Life expansion packs. So now, it's time to quit messing around and go finally get that beer that Barney owes me. I have been incredibly impressed with the Half-Life series so far, and I'm proud to say that I now have it under my gaming belt, an experience I will never forget. If you've made it to the end of the video, you receive another Bubba picture for your collection. This is like Pokemon at this point, alright? You, <laughs> you gotta catch all the Bubba pictures. Half-Life 2 is next, folks. And I hope you're excited as me to finally dive into it. That's all from me, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.